Hello everyone, it is Ashwin Rao. I hope you're all doing well today and today's shoe ramble with a bit of a review brings you another boot out of Indonesia. And you might ask, what is my obsession with Indonesia? And I would say, well, shoes and boots of high quality and high value. And amongst the many talented shoemakers in the world, for me, one has stood proud and tall in one of the most skilled groups and craftsmen, a self-made outfit out of Bandung, Indonesia. And for those of you who are already aware or have heard my previous videos, you're going to recognize who I'm talking about. And this is Midas Bootmaker. So Midas is part of Winston Shoemaker's outfit. And so several years ago, Emil Putra, who had founded Winston Shoemaker, a self-made, self-taught, near bespoke level shoemaker, decided to differentiate his more casual boots from his more elevated shoes, which were in the dress segment and decided to create Midas Bootmaker in early 2021. I became fascinated with Midas Bootmaker, seeing some of the styles that were being offered, the price, as well as the incredible innovation and quality that I was seeing out of what was then a brand new brand. Here was a rugged boot that behaved and was styled in many ways like a classic dress shoe, but with all of the rugged fit and finish that one could ever want, yet dressed up Many of my dress shoes have a touch of rugged to them. They have rugged last. I don't like super pointy shoes. So I'm looking for, the best way to describe it is a little bit more rugged style in my dress shoes and in my boots. I'm not an outdoorsman in the traditional sense. I'm not on construction sites. So I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit more elevated, a little more dressed up, almost with dress shoe DNA, but in the boot. And along comes Midas. So this, my friends, is the Midas Spala boot. Let's talk a little bit about this boot and its makeup. You can obviously see that this has a very unique welt stitch that we're gonna get into. So this is the Midas Maryland last, which for those of you who've seen my previous videos is one of my favorite lasts. It is designed for boots and actually was first manufactured for the purpose of dressing up the standard boot. You can see that it has a, a rounded toe with a slight asymmetry to it. And the Spala boot has a derby construction, so open laced system here. And then you see this very, very beautiful uh, design to the stitching on the upper here. You can see the double row of stitching and then the arcing sweeping design that kind of comes up to to form a single line of stitches just along the eyelets, a similar single line of stitches up top, a double lined ornate stitch coming along the side of the panel of the shoe, and then a very unique back heel stay and heel counter with a pull tab. You can see that the leather is folded over to create a piping effect, and this has a beautiful natural edge welt and a Vibram 430 mini lug sole. Just looking at the bottom, you can see how clean that outstole stitching is. And the showstopper here is obviously this welt. Before I talk about the welt, and this is very uh, specific welt that only the Midas and Winston houses are doing. Before I get to that, I wanted to make a comment that the leather that I chose for this makeup is a local Indonesian tobacco floater leather. It's a dark brown somewhat cooler brown leather, and as you can see, takes a really beautiful shine. So tobacco floater leather. So don't discount your Indonesian leathers as an option for this shoe. As you can see, I've worn this a few times, and despite the wear, the leather has held up incredibly well. I love the gloss and shine along the edge dressing here. Let's talk about the star of the show, and that is this beautiful welt. This, my friends, is the Chain Stitch Stairshuin welt. Cha the Stairshuin is a modified Veltshuin double row constriction, construction done in two separate rows with the leather 
joint in the middle right there. The chain stitch is actually, to my understanding, an ornamental stitch that goes 180 degrees around the shoe, along with this similar um, stair shoe in construction, which goes about 270 degrees around, and then continues as a single row of stitches all the way around the shoe. Stair shoe is essentially a modified Veltschuin construction, but just done in a more ornamental way. And then the chain stitch, I just think, adds an extra level of beauty to dress up this pair. Midas, as you might tell, is one of my favorite bootmakers, period. They really straddle the line between dress boot and rugged boot in a way that nobody else does. You can certainly get a dressier boot from a brand like Antonio Macariello or Carmina or somebody in that genre who typically is known for their dress shoes, but they have very clear design cues that hearken to the dress shoe wear. And here we have something that's a bit more of a bridge. This is a fairly rugged construction, and yet it has a last that almost transitions towards dressier look and some design cues such as the cleanliness of the stitching on the uppers, the more elaborate heel counter, and just the impressive details across the work here. The bootmakers out of Indonesia offer a better value proposition than say an Alden or a Viberg because they're newer to the market, but their prices are going up. So you have to keep that in mind. Using an Indonesian leather allows for a slightly lower price point, and yet I find this leather to be beautiful. I saw some. So the House of Egan, not to be um, dismissed here, is the distributor for Midas boots throughout the world and have a website where you can create your own MTO or join a group MTO for the Midas models. So I wanted to pull in to show you just how clean these details are. This is really what I think for me, puts it all together for Winston slash Midas. You can see the cleanliness of the work done here. There's really no errors in the stitching, consistency, the patterning, and you see how creative this design is. I mean, the piping I think really works well. You can see the inner leather lining, which is a veg tan lining. And of course, who can ever disregard this welt? Look at that detail. Look at how clean that is. Look at how impressive that detail is, even when I pull up. And sure, there's others who feel like the Japanese bootmakers, Viberg, others really offer something special. And I, I, I don't disagree. I just think that, gosh, if you're somebody like me who comes from the dress shoe world or is looking for a dressier boot, you should really think about Midas. They're one of the best. It takes a while to get their shoes, closer to six months. But as they pop, increase in their popularity, they're going to be more challenged because they're a small outfit that's basically a split off of um, Winston Shoemaker, who also takes quite a while to get your shoes. So you're going to have to wait for your shoes. The only other way to get these shoes without waiting is to go to the Swedish website Skolix. And there are several ready to wear Midas boots, including a um, mock toe boot a service boot style and they have access to a wide range of leathers and some of their GMTOs offer some very really special leathers. So keep an eye out for Midas. Tell them that I sent you. Um, I always love to get the word out about brands that I'm super enthusiastic about. And um, I think that Emil Putra and his team with Midas as well as Winston have done something special for the boot community in creating these wonderful makeups. Have a good one and I will see you at the next video. Peace.